like a lot in today's world, but back then it wasn't it was a decent. Level. And candidly, I think also that that convincing EA that you know this much sort of live action content was going to be a good thing and it was going to be you know look we know Wing Three was good this will even be better and here's why I mean they were really they were in San Francisco and in Austin kind of going what you know what are you guys doing in L A and it's like quiet we're working come on hang those lights. You know, it was sort of a big trust thing, and actually, as it turned out, you know, it was a it was a very big deal, and it paid off. So that that was good. But you know, uh, getting a company, any company, any any uh, publisher, any studio to you know trust a, a director and a and a production company to to um, get something that's going to um, to deliver on on expectations. Uh, that's that's very tough, and, and in our particular industry, I, I think particularly at the time, it was even tougher. But you now know, at the time, it was but, the most expensive game going. Now, 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 basically, I think the the uh, the catering budget on the Call of Duty commercials is probably bigger. Yeah, as much as much. <laughs> as much <laughs> yeah, yeah. The game costs uh, we we made it back then, but back then, I think it cost us about twelve million to do the Wing Four, um, of which a good portion of that was the shoot, uh, which at the time. Most expensive game. Yeah, it was. Uh, at least in the West, anyway. I don't know if there was a Japanese game like one of the Square Enix that kind Final of game. fantasies that were. Going but I mean, you could see you could see all that really on the screen. I mean, you could see a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. No, we shot. It was like a forty-five day shoot, I believe. Or I mean, you know, like this. We had a full second unit running too. There was a second unit yeah. running, so there's plenty of movies. The scripts. This I haven't, I haven't shown it to you, David. I don't think, but the literally the scripts like that. It's like a film, uh, and uh, there's a lot. <laughs> We were, shoot, we were shooting, I think we were shooting like seven, eight pages a day. Uh, oh, that, was, that was fun. Well. And even, you know, the only thing that may rival that would be, I guess, when I, after Freelance, when I went on to do um, uh, Medal of Honor um, with John Milius, I mean, suddenly we had a thousand page script. Really? Uh, it's here. So, I was hey, that's my birthday. Adam! I might have a wing question or two for him. Sweet. So, uh, just real quick. For people in the chat role that say uh, Ginger for Star Citizen, um, it's been a while, I think. She, so Gingerland gotten a bit older. So yeah, she's uh, fifty-two. I'm just saying that she's forty-nine. Now really sweet. Um, <laughs> I think she's. Uh, I looked yeah. it up a few months ago, and I think she's fifty-two. So we had a, we had a related. She's been posting with her in her, in her space suit. Yeah, <laughs> I was proud of it, guy. Okay. Right. So we had a related question as far as the uh, the Wing Commander stuff goes. Uh, are there any note? We lose. Four hour limit. Oh, four hour limit. Oh, no. you just gotta hit close. Oh, come on! We couldn't have gotten this in perfectly in four hour segments. So we can close it out with one. Are we all bad? Okay. We're good. Are we bad? Okay, cool. All right. We're so not, the we're related, some follow up question here is: Are uh, are there any wait, notable? Wait, 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 wait. We're all invisible. We're not. Why? Yeah, yeah, we need to restart our camera. Yeah, we have to restart our camera. Uh, how do we do that? Go to the the Skype. You just click the. Fail. S one translation. Oh, oh well, yeah. we're still up. Don't press that button. Yeah, don't press. Whatever you do, don't press the hang up. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, uh, what? How is Dave? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is all. You want to hear that first thing? Uh, you okay. can open broadcast. So you the software he was using? Well, I'm not just. Yeah, I mean, is it easy to get going? Or yeah, I can just fire it up right now. Is it easy to, to um, go on to the main channel? Oh. Uh, I was just thinking about, like, maybe five minutes for everyone on the main channel. To, all right. Is it still, still doing it again? Yeah, yeah I could set that up. Just do remove person. All right. Yeah, we'll do it. 20 minutes? Okay. Uh, so we can do it again. There we go. Okay. So the follow-up question here, are there any notable disagreements in the storyline for the, the Wing Commander series that you guys had uh, fights or discussions over that you could talk about? Uh, well, no, I mean, there was just, I think, uh, I would say I wasn't 100, like, in terms of Wing 2 um, to Wing 3, I, I wasn't 100% sure or happy with uh, making Hobbs uh, be sort of a... Uh, Karathi um, defector um, because I sort of felt like the Karathi was sort of very, you know, they were, they were, they were, you know like um, say you know, the Japanese Navy of World War II and they were sort of very case based and warrior stuff. So it sort of 
it felt wrong that you would do something like that. So uh, I think that was one of the reasons why in Wing 3 I made uh, Hobbs a trader. So that would probably be the biggest uh, uh, the story change. Because, uh, the Steve Beeman was on Wing 2, so when I, was, when I finished Wing 1, I was doing Strike Commander, and so I was sort of producing uh, Wing 2, but I wasn't like overseeing it to the same level as I did Wing 1 or I did um, a Wing 4 on the story. So uh, there, was a few, there was a few tweaks to the story, and I wasn't necessarily keen on all of them. So I guess that was probably the biggest sort of story, story change, tweak, revision. The drama. Oh, I got it. As you can see here, three out of every eight Star Citizen players will be space truckers. Space truckers? Yep. I don't know if we have a representative sample here. And will we space truckers be able to wear unflattering hats such as these in game? Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to wear a uh, several versions of different, yeah, different colors, different hats. Excellent. In the parlance, that's called a gimme cap. <laughs> Gimme? <laughs> Probably not the, the horned fuzzy hat that was worn by Mark Skelton. And <laughs> Why, not? Why, Why not? You can be a total badass. Well, you never can tell. Some artists may get really excited about it and just make it when we're not looking. So uh, so I guess the question I would have for everybody that's still, what, how many what people we got on Twitch left or have we driven them away? <laughs> it's surprisingly still full. Ah, okay, almost 5,000. So, uh, which one of you guys would like to see maybe a like, five minute, um, I'll drive around in a little test bed and you can see a constellation with some animation? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. I think the better question is, who doesn't? Exactly. Yeah. Does anyone thumbs down on that one? Are you guys in the challenge? Uh, I was actually over here. Uh, I don't know. I said, you know, the chat, I don't know. I don't know if they like oh it. They're only scrolling. Wow, the <laughs> chat roll exploded. <laughs> Chris, you broke the chat roll. <laughs> the chat roll was broken a long time ago. <laughs> all right, Travis, well, Travis is a. Uh, Are these all no's? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow. Yeah. I, I guess they don't want to see it, Chris. I, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't think this chat roll likes yeah, and learning a new language, how to say not no even interested. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not all like set up, it's not all lit, but you'll get to see sort of like the the 